low YouTube and YouTube pipe me in Briar Blade and we're smoking a Excelsior pickaxe pipe, a state pipe that I just bought not too long ago. Really nice pipe. Uh, probably wouldn't have bought this pipe, but uh, uh, because of the unusual shape and didn't have nothing like that in my collection. And it's got a military mount, uh, too. And it was like new condition and uh, rusticated. Holds a lot of tobacco. And I'm smoking some purple cow, which has a cigar leaf in it. Now, I was a little, little kind of disappointed with this tobacco, because I was hoping more of a cigar leaf taste. It's got a Duro cigar leaf for the tobacco, but, uh, you know, you don't get much of that smell or even the taste of it, really. Uh, but it's not a, you know, it's not bad, uh, I, uh, I guess I would maybe buy it again, uh, but uh, it uh, description of it in some of these other places they got it where it's got a tarable room note. Well, I don't think it's really that bad. Room note ain't really uh, well. It's less than what you would get what you would get from a cigar. So. And this is actually my first time smoking this pipe since I bought it. It's got good draw. Uh, quite a long pipe. I'd say it's a good, uh, oh gosh, six and a half inch long from the, you know, down at the point of the pick, pickaxe down to the top of the stem, uh, at the end, but uh, nice pipe, not too heavy on the end. Mike say it's an old state pipe. Well, I've taken very well care of, and if it had been smoked, I uh, must not have been smoked very much because uh, there was not even any cake built up in it. Didn't, uh, and uh, took very little little uh, cleaning or anything I mean it was really in good shape so but uh, I say thanks to all my new and old subscribers been watching a lot of videos uh, been kind of got kind of a relapse on the on the flu or whatever was going on and been kind of feeling down kind of sickly again but uh, didn't smoke for a couple of days or so but uh, feeling better again. My uh, temperature here has been pretty nice. The temperature, but been cloudy every day. And uh, we had uh, thunderstorms that came through and got some measurable snow, rain. And, and uh, looks like the weather... It's going to stay this way for at least another day or so. Uh, kind of don't mind some days like this. Kind of glue me out. Uh, um, seems like uh, there for a couple of days we were going right from winter right into extra warm spring. Almost uh, hot out. We've been working on another pipe that came in the mail. Been restoring. It's a Brevy Bulldog. Really, really nice shape. Got it for very little money. I just had to ream it out a little bit. It had a little kick build up in it. I uh, ran out of carnauba wax, so I just mixed up some of my beeswax and got it on here now what I'll do is I'll take a heat gun to it and 
heat it up a little bit and see a little bit of it soaks in and then I'll let it dry and buff it up a little bit. Nice little brevy. Uh, got a couple new, well, got uh, three new pipes coming. Uh, got a brand new brevy I bought. Got a new uh, custom build on its way. And then uh, my uh, son-in-law and my daughter, for my birthday, they gave me a eBay gift certificate, so I bought a new pipe from uh, House of Pipes. Uh, from the Polish maker. I don't remember the exact name, but I bought a Danish style pipe from him. Looking forward to getting that. Uh, be the first, well, no, actually my second one from him. Uh, I had one of his pipes I bought, oh, I suppose probably three years ago or better. Three or four years ago. And, and, uh, been looking at some different style of pipes. This bowl on this one's really unusual. And you'll see it when I do a video on it. <coughs> um, been looking at, uh, maybe I'm gonna have to maybe invest in another humidor, maybe something bigger. One real big one. Cause I got my two smaller ones, which I'm using for kind of aging cigars in it. I got one that's got cigars that are probably probably a year old. And then I got one that there may be oh it's the oldest they're probably six months old I've had them. But uh I uh have ran out of a few different ones that I do like and enjoy and probably be looking at getting some more. Got some cigars coming from my son. He bought some new cigars. Uh, was going to be bringing them up, but uh, he's in the process. Him and his wife are moving to a new location, and and uh, we weren't feeling good, and we didn't want the little granddaughter getting any cold or anything we had. So I told him just to wait. So I'll be looking forward to seeing what them are. And uh, he's been busy, real busy at work, and. They're busy moving, so, and, uh, I, uh, oh, kind of did some reorganizing of my, uh, one, uh, tobacco seller, the one that has all my canned tobaccos, and, and kind of slid some things around, restacked some things, so I got some room, got some, uh, few more cans of tobacco I'm probably going to be investing in. I'm kind of trying once in a while a few different new ones, but kind of going to concentrate on what I like uh, more and having more of it. Uh, I uh, I have plenty of Mississippi River on hand and, and plum pudding and shortcut to mushroom and a lot of the other ones. Like Lane's 1Q, I got at least a pound or two of that on hand. And, and uh, got uh, some butter rum on hand, quite a bit of that. But uh, I'm going to invest in some other tobaccos, some more uh, Sam Guala, new blends and try them. I uh, have a lot of Fire Dance Flake and, and uh, Rigor Full Virginia Flake on hand. I always keep quite a bit of that on hand. That's one of my, I guess, go-to tobaccos. Uh, been mixing some tobaccos on my own. I, uh, took the, uh, Boswell Northwoods and the Bill Bike Delight, and I had a little bit of Fire Dance white to it. And that turned out really good, really tasty. Uh, I tried that too. Besides the blend that Simon, they came up with, and, uh, this, uh, with a little bit of the, uh, fire dance flake really, really was good. Tastes real well. So I've been smoking that and gonna kinda concentrate on smoking up what I've got open now. I got way too much tobacco already open and I'm gonna go through a lot of that and before I start opening up some new stuff. <coughs> I got a lot of different cans of tobacco that I got more than 
maybe two or three cans of certain ones that I haven't even opened up yet. And, uh, and some I've had before and some I haven't had. But just don't want to open it, you know, everything. I got probably, oh, I would say maybe 20 different blends already open. And uh, just figure I better start using some of that up and uh, concentrating on getting some of that, you know, smoked and see what I do really like the best and maybe get some more of them. So, but not much else. Uh, been, uh, let's say, watching a lot of videos. Glad Bones is feeling better. I know what the migraine deal is. I don't do my personal aid, but my wife suffers from migraines and, and, uh, ain't no fun. And one of my medications I take, I have a almost 24-7 headache all the time because of it. And, uh, not as bad as a migraine, but Imagine having a headache all the time. That ain't no fun. And uh, some days it's worse than others. So, But uh, pretty much it here. So till next time, we'll catch you all later in uh, Sweet Smokes. Bye-bye and uh, take care. Bye-bye.